Right, so I can either talk to Sophia or go somewhere else. You know what I'll be doing? I'll be going somewhere else. Um, our state at the moment is... Ooh, that stress. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, hmm. I might want to just be, um, taking a walk in the park. Relieve the stress. I'm assuming that's the way it works. I can read, relax, or go to the forest, Ramir. There have been reports of shadowy monsters in the forest. It could potentially be dangerous in there. Yep, I am absolutely no chance when it comes to be relaxed. My personal strike goes up? What? What? Whatever, I, I don't even get. Still the same thing. I have unread mail. Thank you, game. Uh, thanks for helping us out. I really need some more on my work. Well, you were looking for me. We we've already read all of this. Lies! I don't have unread mail. I've read all of it. Haven't I? I'm pretty sure I've seen the, you know, the player thing. Right. Do we want to rest? No. <laughs> we might want to keep our personal strength up because resting seems to keep it up. But however, I have been told to keep the Clear Sky Bank database as high as I can and get it up to level three as quick as possible. I get it. So resting gets it up and sleeping gets it down. Whatever, don't even care at this point. Lunchtime, I'm in class again, am I? Yes, well, yes, it's lunchtime. I leave the classroom quickly to stake out a lunch spot. As I wander the halls, searching for a nice place to consume my lunch, I hear a familiar voice call out to me. Ryu! Oh, God. Raya, Rina runs up to me with a huge smile on your face. I cannot wait to make an excuse and leave. Hi, Rina, what's up? Ryu, could you meet with me after school? After school? What for? It's a surprise, Ryu. If I tell you, that would spoil it. I'd rather die. Alright, I guess it's fine. <laughs> don't agree on my behalf, character. I don't know if I can come as soon as our school is out, though. Then just come and see me after school whenever you have time, okay? Sure. What could she be planning? She seems really excited about something. Alright, Ryu, see you then. <laughs> just that face. I mean, it's, it, it's a face which calls out for a fist. There's a German word for that. I know what it is. See you, Rena. Ugh. Have Claire and her boyfriend split up? Is that what she's so happy about? Or is it just something like, Oh, I fucking baked a cake! Yay! Or something silly. I settle down to eat my lunch alone in the hallway. I wonder what Rena is planning. Whatever it is, she seems awfully pleased with herself. Ugh. Looks like class is over, I should meet up with Rina. Please don't make me read up with Rina. Uh, did we agree on a place? I guess I should just search the hallways. I gotta run into the journalist? Rina! I spent 10 minutes searching for her. Uh, where did she run off to? Ryu! Rina rushes down a staircase to meet me. Rina, there you are. Sorry, Ryu, I got caught up asking the teacher a few questions. Don't worry about it, it's not like it was your idea to meet or anything! So, what was it that you wanted to speak to me about? Could you walk with me to my place today? I have something to give you. Uh, sure. Well, as long as it's not virginity, we should be fine. Great, let's go. Rina leads me down the sidewalk. Pavement. Humming a cheerful tune to herself. We're not even speaking. We're just walking down cheerfully. Not a word. When arrive... When we arrive at the intersection that leads to her house, she stops. Alright, Rai, wait here and I'll get it for you, okay? I'm a little confused as to why I need to wait here, but I suppose it's part of her plan. Couldn't she just give this to me at school? I guess if it's too big, maybe not, but... My music's are broken and Rena calls out to me. It better not be like a six-foot teddy bear. Rai, I have your gift here. Rena is approaching me with a beautiful computer in her hands. Though the clear casing on the side, I see several processing cards and a series of slots for even more. It's hard to tell what the exact specs are from an initial glance, but there's no doubt that this is a top-of-the-line piece of equipment. They could have put stuff they made before i3s in there. Yes, I'm an Intel guy. They could have made put their... They could literally just like, oh yeah, there's like four GTX <laughs> 450s. <laughs> no jokes. Well, that wasn't as heavy as I thought it was. How much you can't possibly be giving this to me? What else do you think it was, doofus? Well, here is my gift to you, Ryu. That is an expensive gift. I've no problem with buying a friend, male or female, a game here and there if I want to play it with them. You know, balls to it. 
But a computer? I've never been- Oh, you know, fuck it. Here, just fucking have the money. Whatever. What, you're kidding me? I'm not. I won this computer in a contest. Why don't you use it? Whatever. <laughs> Fair enough. But I already have a computer that works just fine, and I don't understand half of the special features this thing has. That's why I'm giving it to you. You like computers, right? Rena hands me a piece of paper. I wrote down all the components and other things. <laughs> Four cards! Two things which look like nanotechnology! By well, saying that, the Millennium Bug affected all sorts of technology, so are we still using memory cards, which are like 96 kilobytes? You know, the, the, the kind of PlayStation 1 era of memory. They did have 96 kilobytes, didn't they? I think so. 8 kilobytes per save. That's a, that's a fucking short amount. I give the list a cursory glance. Hmm, what? Octo cores, all 64 bits, six, 16 gigabytes of RAM, two 500 gigabytes drive of RAID array. The operating system is also installed in a solid state drive. Not 16 gigabytes of RAM, not two 500 gigabytes drive of RAM. Wow, RAM, what the fuck am I on about hard drives? It's, it, 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 it is actually worse than my computer. <laughs> It's, it's octo cores, as far as I'm aware, means absolutely fuck all. But the the, the other bit, I'm, my computer's better than that. This isn't too amazing. All this with four of the latest graphic cards and everything water cooled. Four. No one is four. They go, saying this, if if sixteen gigabytes is too much for the time they're body in, so two thousand and six, it would have been ridiculous. Four graphics cards is ridiculous. What sort of contest was this, Rena? Um, I forgot the name. Well, this is incredible either way. I'll run over to Rena and hug her. Thank you, this is a computer enthusiast's dream come true. It it was nothing right. Don't let her soak up the cuddle too much. I release Rena and pick up the computer. It really is pretty light. I'll pay you back someday. No, no, it's okay, Ryo. It was my duty as a friend to give you something like it. I'd have sold it. But sure. I turn to walk home, unable to hide the huge grin from my face. <laughs> That's it, just a hug and slap. Right then, <laughs> thanks for the amazing computer. Bye! <laughs> the best I could do. Take care, Rena. Thank you again. Bye, Rhyme. Enjoy your computer. I hurry home, eager to try this new machine out. I can't wait to get this set up. Six. Wow, that's high. That's really high. Oh, wow, it's still exactly the same fucking computer. All right, I am just gonna, I, I've been told to get the database level three as quick as possible. So that's what I will be doing. I will not be exploring other avenues or having fun or any said thing. So, hang on. Before we go to talk to Sophia, our personal strength has something to do with speaking to strangers. So if it's 13 out of 24, that's, yeah, they are balls to it high enough. So Ryu, you brought me more information. I. I didn't. I was just hoping you were going to give me more information because my personal strength is vaguely high. Maybe. Hmm. You know what? I changed my mind. Just come by and talk to me about various things on your mind. Right. What? I thought you were only going to talk to me if I brought information. Forget I said that. Then let's just talk. You make no sense. She definitely has something planned. Oh well, I may as well try and dig up as much info from her as I can. Who should I talk about? Alex. You said that Alex was part of the Wings of Light, but he's an Antaku. How is this? Sorry. I haven't been able to dig up much information about Alex in particular. So we have only got the name Alex to go on. That could be anyone. I don't know what the surname of my friend is, but he could be Alex Smith, and the guy that she's talking about could be Alex Letissier. Ugh. Whatever. Alex has been very careful when talking about his past. All I know is that something bad happened and the winds of light split up. Two of them left town, but one of them is still here. Alex is one of them and he came here. The dates of when they left and when Alex transferred here match up pretty well. That makes no sense. That's just ridiculous! Ugh, Claire! You were asking about Claire before. What do you know about Claire that I don't? Only that you guys were part of the big three and I did know about her boyfriend. I just really didn't want to get mixed up in Didn't want to get mixed up in the stuff you're a fucking journalist who came up to me and were like, hey, um, <laughs> I have information about everything which you might like to hear. But I didn't tell you because I didn't want to get mixed up. That makes no sense. Yeah, whatever. 
to that group. Judging from your previous reaction to my comments about her being a nice person, she must be treating you differently. Yeah, she's hard on me sometimes, but she pushes me to improve myself. That's why she's a good friend. Mm. She treats me normally. So are the treat other people treat you not so normally? Well, no. What? I'm not too sure how I got that idea. A conversation just ends in mid-conversation. So what can you tell me about Rena other than she's a naive 14-year-old with a twat? Well, I don't really know too much about her. This is she's useless. For someone who came up to me all stone-faced and was like, hey! You should really know this about your friends. Ha! <laughs> I actually don't know anything. LOL! <sighs> Whatever. Oh! But she likes you though. I already know that, I'm not that dense. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure you knew- I'm not that stupid. Are you going to do something about it? Well, she is the one who let me knew, know about Claire's boyfriend. Though something about her story bothers me. Like what? I'm not too sure. I'm going now until next time. <laughs> something about her story bothers me. I don't know. Not, can you elaborate on that? Are you sure you don't know? Can you think back and perhaps tell me anything? Don't know. Oh, well, fuck you, lol. I'll be going. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I have no option but to go somewhere else. No. No. Oh, fuck it. We'll go here and see if Claire's here. She's not. Alright, no. Five dollars isn't quite worth it. I'm honestly just seeing if there's anything else. No. Nope. It might be one of these things where it doesn't tell us that we've got something there until we click on it. So we might need to go exploring in between updating the database. I don't actually know why I'm supposed to get that to level three at all. What do I have now? <laughs> Here are some tips. Let's begin, shall we? Girls are always looking for new experiences because sometimes others around her trap her like a bird in a cage. They may love her dearly, but have no idea what they are doing. Also, working out does give a little bit of an advantage when trying to attract a girl. <laughs> That's right, girls. You're attracted to muscly men. Yeah! The player. <laughs> what was the point of that? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> let's just pretend that never happened. Uh, let's rest. Uh, that will raise our personal strength by one. So if we go to the park, it's not that high, although our stress goes down a fair load. I'm gonna have to kind of judge this rather precariously. Sophia actually has nothing of note. Like, I just want to. Shall I go and do something else and see what goes and happens? Or shall I just focus solely on the database? Uh, you know what? Tomorrow. We will go and look at the database. And at the database. Tomorrow we'll go do something else. We'll go to the bubble tea. No, we'll go to Cosplay Cafe. And see something there. Go outside. Cosplay Cafe is fucking there. Typical. Fine, let's go here. What are my stats? Status. I don't actually. Alright, balls to it. Why not? Stay here. Relax. Yeah, right, I thought something like that would happen. Cents. Cent. Cent is my money, so I'm. I, not even dollars, cents. I have 120 cents. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm not so rich. Alright, so now I have no stress whatsoever. My mind starts to drift away. Erica, good morning. I'm ready to assist you. Today, I smile, looking at my senior. I hope to learn a lot from you. Good morning, I. <laughs> AI, is she calling me a robot? That's disrespectful. Better. How are you today? Erica returns my smile. She looks so professional dressed in her lab coat. Are you ready for training? Yes, I try to hide my excitement without much ex success. Magic research has always been my dream. Glad to see that the new person is full of energy. Follow me then. <laughs> Give it a week. All right, lead the way. We head down a long hallway. So let me get to know you a little better. Erica looks at me with a smile. What's your NPR? My magical potential rating. I'm C rated. What about you? So C isn't brilliant. C plus. Not too much higher than you it seems. Her voice trails off and she looks a little bit disappointed. Magical potential rating. What's this? Sorting out mages in Final Fantasy? Giving mystical hand jobs from across the room? 